once we wait for this loading screen. Yeah. Sand ocean. That sounds I like a terrible thing to swim in. I don't understand why on the PS3 of all oh, consoles. Yeah. <laughs> you get to come in at the best possible time. Ugh. And if you fall behind you, you can get one of the animals from the stage. Right. Wait, what? Yep, there's an animal behind. But That's we're not going to get it because we get it. You don't have the jet booster yet. Right. Don't do anything rash. Because sand is, you know, just instant Oh, this, death. this level. Ooh, without the hover pack? Yeah. It's like praying for death, or praying for life every time you make a jump. Well, praying for life and hoping for death, because this level is pretty You pray for life after death. Basically. Where you live in a world where there's no Sonic games. Honestly, if Eggman disappeared into the sand ocean, we never have to hear from him again, so I would, I would kind of going, not mind that. You'd only hear him in your restless dreams go, yo, 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 in my restless dreams. I see that town. Green Sonic Hill Zone. Too. Isn't there a town that you're in in uh, Green, er, Sonic Adventure 1? The first Sonic Adventure or something? Yeah. What is it called? Some it, place in the... It, what is that? It's not... It's, Station Square? I don't is know that the name of a town, though? Or I don't know if Station Square is the name of the city, or if Station Square is just Station Square, the area that oh. you're in in the game. Oh, Oh yeah, be prepared for lots of enemies to drop right into your viewpoint from out of nowhere and kill you. Cause you know, the Sonic Adventure 2 way. Camera controls. Camera control, indeed. The thing uh, about the camera terrible. is it resets as soon as you move your character. Yeah. It's awful. Awful for awful. You <laughs> bang bang! <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> yeah, if you're standing there, you get flattened and you lose your rings. Which makes some sense. It's nice that it's not an insta-death, because that would be really rude of the game to do that to you. Not a disaster report. Yeah. So this is bringing back good memories or bad memories? I'm not sure at the moment. <laughs> well, you are playing Eggman. That's going to be a bad trip for anyone. <laughs> yeah. Eggman is a trip. Now you know my real power. I'll yeah, beat you! Do you think you can beat me? Do you think you can beat me? Okay, I'm gonna jump up. Awkward Japanese yeah. speaking conventions. Because who cares about extra points? Okay. This... Okay, no. I would like to shorten your name to ED, but I won't. <laughs> For the purposes of this video, it will take up. The rectal duck. Rectal duck function. Yeah, you keep calling me Sparky, which I'm okay with. Okay. Should I explain what the basis for my name is? If you, you like. Want. I kind of do because people always ask. So. Did you? Well. <laughs> actually, you yes. walked into that one. You no, really did. I can prove it. I have a thread on Game Facts I wrote recently where someone's like, that's a cool name. Where'd it come from? I'm like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> but. Oh, are you like being elitist now? <laughs> like, oh. It was more like I was like, my name is cool once. <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you... Yeah. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> anyway, uh, I was playing the video game Dem Criminal Origins right around when I first got my Xbox 360. Because, you know, it was a relatively decent game, unlike every other game at the 360 launch. And Not yet. in that game, you play as Ethan Thomas, an FBI agent, and... I have two first it's, names. It's still a relatively... Oh. Hey, you got it. A relatively it's decent exactly game. Right. But... The thing about Condemned is it was one of the first games I ever played where you would pick up like environmental objects and weapons and use them to kill your enemies. For instance, you could pick up a steel pipe off the ground and hit them with it. Or you could find a cement block with rebar sticking out. You would just like grab the rebar and rip it out. And I was like, yeah, this is kind of cool even if it's completely unrealistic, you know? I was probably like 15 or 16 at the time. I and was then, just a young boy. Yeah, really. Then, he walks up to this electrical conduit on the wall. I'm like, there is no way you're going to rip a live conduit out of the wall. You're going to kill yourself. No, he does. He just grabs the electrical conduit, rips it out, you know, everything sparks. And <laughs> I'm just like, that is stupid. That is ridiculous. I'm going to start calling myself a sparking conduit. And I did. 
And that's where I came up with the idea. Now you know hand. my true power. Now you know my true identity. Okay. Just fall. You're, yeah, you're Don't not... fall off to the left or right. Just fall straight. You did it! Yay! Yay! Let's let these all out. We're on the GameCube version. It's what? I feel like the camera controller twitchier that I remember. No, they're not. They're not. It's they're always really been this. Not. It's always sucked. Don't, yeah. don't kid yourself. It's always been terrible. That's the thing about nostalgia. It makes you think things aren't as bad as they really are. And that's the worst part of it. Yeah, I mean, I... Follows. I've tried playing uh, Jack and Daxter and he's a piece of shit. No, Jack and Daxter is okay. Anything other than the original Jack and Daxter. I have to disagree, because like Jack and Daxter was like Banjo-Kazooie if it had less personality. Oh, oh my was... god, that was I close. Tried. <laughs> I was like, oh good, <laughs> another three minutes we'll have to see again. Just fall there. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Don't try to make that other jump or you will die. Before you die. Can you break those? No, uh, the metal balls? No. no just go, just, just go stick around. to the wall. Yeah, you're fine. Jack, I played Jack and Daxter recently, and I thought it was perfectly fine, and I actually enjoyed it, which is surprising I don't, it always because felt, it's an old platformer. So it always it felt be, really wow. empty to me when I was playing it. Like they had That like, is true. The game worlds are not as full of things as Banjo can do. Well, the, it's not a question of being full of things. It just didn't feel as focused. Like, there was just a lot of places you could walk around for the hell of it. Jumping. There you go, yeah. Uh, well, the other problem was that the worlds were not linked to from a main central hub. So, like, if you started the game again, and I don't know if it was like this on the PS2 version. On the PS3 version, it was great because it would start you in the, like, hub for your main world. But I'm pretty sure on the PS2 version, it would always start you off at the beach. And it would take, like, five minutes to travel to any of the other worlds. Yeah. Waiting yeah. the game. <laughs> Seriously, what the hover piece? How how many levels it's away probably, is that? Uh, I think it's two away actually. For Eggman, yeah. Because he he gets the the weapon upgrade first, right? No, maybe. I know he does a space level, and then maybe he does the uh, level where he's on like a cargo carrier. And why does Eggman have the most levels in the Dark Story? Who thought that was a good idea? You get only four shadow levels compared to like eight eight-man levels and six rouge levels. Or Dr. Man like Egg. That. I know I, I, my totals are off, but I like to exaggerate for effect because, seriously, eight-man levels. Why? I don't know. I don't know the, why I'm missing that, but whatever. He's the, he's the best character. Because he's the eight-man! That's what he is. <laughs> he's got the mess. Yes, I remember all these. Yeah. The scary part. I know. I, I'm just, I'm I still, aw, I don't I know what you guys listen. is doing. See this theme. I still listen to Live and Learn, because that's actually so a do relatively I. good song, honestly. Like, when I was playing Sonic Generations, I heard this final boss music. Within five seconds, I turned it off, went back into the menu, and changed it to Live and Learn, and that was the most epic boss fight ever. You gotta jump on, on top of it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> We're not let's play that game, because I really don't have to hear Sonic! That looks like a... What the hell is the... Look at those Eggman robots! Wow, that's Sonic <laughs> Heroes. That's why we're not playing that game, but... I think it's like a... Oh, that's it! It looks like a homing shot, Sonic! What? Sonic, that looks like a homing shot! Now imagine every character in the Sonic universe getting that line. <laughs> you have some idea of how... Oh. E. Bad I am at this. <laughs> e for E. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to Sparking Conduit. Never like uh, the Eggman levels. They really are Dr. Manning. terrible. I'll try to make sure you get a, a shadow level at some point. We may not trade off equally. We'll just trade off based on whatever. But anyway, since you wanted to see more of Dr. Eggman's incredibly weird legs, let me allow you to see that. Look how he runs. His legs he's, bend at a 30 degree so angle to his body. His legs are like centrifuges just spinning around. It is the, the center of his body just stays in place. So anyway, here's the hero garden. It's beautiful and peaceful. And I want to throw that chow in, so I will. Yes. Ah! I the dark like side. That didn't quite work. Wow, it didn't do anything. Okay. Uh, I guess Maybe that, you need to throw it out of I guess that one wasn't fertilized. No. 
And there's a dark chow garden, which hopefully we won't have to show them, but if we accidentally collect another chow key, I will. <laughs> ah, yes. Look at those pistons in that uh, ancient temple. In the space colony art. This, you know what's funny? I sometimes complain about how games have like these disjointed scenes, or like you're in one area and all of a sudden you're in another area. And this game has the most of that, but for some reason it doesn't bother me because they do feel somewhat connected by the actual levels. We if that makes sense. Well, they, they, they have the same theme of the level, but they're not like actually but scratch. At the <laughs> <laughs> they're not actually like established in the game world as existing. Except the chaos unrolled. I love how he reacts before the reporter even says it. It's like the only thing that was stolen was the chaos emerald. The hedgehog. Look at Shadow being a menace as he stands there and smirks on top of the suspension. Uh, uh, Stay tuned for more details. Beam, whatever. What is it? Bridge? It's a suspension cable, that's it. For, the, for suspension. a suspension bridge, yeah. It's a. Okay. Let's just pile up on the, the fucking chasm <laughs> of the highway. I. Pathetic, yes. Um. Okay, let's let's go around and see. What is your opinion on the shadow? Mario. <laughs> that's, a, that's like the one moment that the shadow voice actor shows any emotion. It's hilarious. But back to my question. Okay, like shadow? Yeah, just as a character. Shadow didn't really need to happen because he he just gets kind of wedged into the world, which already has enough characters. That, that, yeah, like first of all, we don't need more hedgehogs. Second of all, we don't need hedgehogs with jet boots or guns or vehicles. Well, the thing is, he didn't have guns or vehicles in this game, so I didn't. No, but he's still he's still pretty he's unnecessary. He's still like, I'm just the evil Sonic, and it's like, whatever, and people, you're not that evil. People are just like, oh, best character ever, I'm like, you gotta be good. If, if this was the first Sonic game, maybe it's like, oh, this is a cool, edgy character. You got that kind of stuff. Oh, I almost had to play it. Oops. Fall off the ledge already. No, you gotta go, oops, and oops, tippy toe. Oops, tippy toe by it. Okay. Go right, because I always go left there. I never go right. Who are the civil engineers? Yeah, right. I, who, who makes a fucking highway do like loop the loop? What, what is this? What is this? Where does this highway go? Thank you for bringing up what I've always thought about this game. Oh, fine. I'll show them the dark part. Why not? Okay. Whoa. Oh, look, there's an animal. Well, there is. Absolutely nowhere. It's the tiger. It's the eye of the tiger! No singing. <laughs> this We're coming starting. from you! Yes, I, I haven't... <laughs> son of a bitch. I have not sung yet. I don't want to hear it. Oh, I don't want to You don't have the shoes. Ah, it's crap. Oh, well. Uh, green, Is it the, like, uh, the... White jungle. Or, or green forest, whichever one is uh, shadows. Yeah. White jungle? <laughs> what the fuck is a white jungle? <laughs> I don't know, but I do know it's a white wedding. It's a nice day for a white wave. Start again! Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 <laughs> I, I must. Okay. I must echo it. Okay! okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just real I must echo Eclectic Duck's comments. Who designed this highway? Well, what civil engineer was like, this is awesome, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna put my. I wanna know the zoning department that approved the ones. What, like, why is this so high in the fucking city? Like, you see, it's taller than skyscrapers. How did I get hit there? Burn. Burn. Well, obviously they're not very good. Just fall apart. That's right. Go stumping, bro. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this. Let's blast through with sonic speed. Ew. Okay. All right. I don't think anyone would be happy to do that. Really? Three. Would you rather I blaze through at the speed of not anything fast? Well, you could roll around roll at the speed of sound. <laughs> I got places to go. Don't you dare fall in my ring, though. Are you, like, farting or something? Oh. Look at this double corkscrew. Wow. What are these random-ass ramps in the middle of the road? Like, what construction crew would need, like, a ramp to stunt up? Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Oh. okay. Keep floating. Go. Damn it, I wanted to get stuck there. Oh well. Oh. oh okay. Okay. I've never 
Put it that way, okay. I'll just jump up this rail. I don't know how this is working! I'm gonna die. Oh, wow. Oh, well, I was going to get an A-rank on this level, but now I'll just settle for don't die. Bro! That was close. Yeah, I know. That that one's pretty tenuous right there. You gotta use your vocabulary? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I, I didn't wasn't try there, very hard. Was there a checkpoint right above him? Yes. Failure. I'm not trying now. I'm because not trying. Yeah, whatever. Once I try. Whatever. Once I try to go up that rail, I kind of lost all will to live. Honestly. Wow. You're just you're one of those guys I can really kill myself. There we go. That's what I wanted to do originally, and not get any points for it because this level is really bullshit about that. Yeah, okay, young glow sticks. There's what I wanted. Did he ever go all the way up there? It's a robot. A robot? Oh, sweet. Dog on the robots. Look at all them Eggman's robots! I already did that joke. I don't care, I didn't do it yet. Um, okay, oh, so wait, that, that, what, now the loop loop is part of the skyscraper? Yes. I just... Oh, darn. Oh, well. Hey, you got a little seal. Aw, that's so cute. Now let's smash it. Well, let's just Make throw it at it. Let's throw it at a god. Let's throw it at an evil child. That'll work. There we go. What are you doing, bro? I'm trying to get up to here so I can I like do it. this. I like how you jump backwards at it and start flipping it. Got ring. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> hey, yeah, hey, it's right. nights. It is nights. Nice. Well, I didn't recognize oh, that one last cool. time. I is that Amigo Left Lane? Is that what it says? Amigo? Huh? Yeah, the sign said Amigo left lane. Oh, yeah. Amigo. I thought you said Amigo, and I was like, how is this Lovecraft at all? <laughs> it's because of the fucking highways. It's out of Rillie, really man. <laughs> this is the Rillie really highway. <laughs> oh, Rillie? Really? Yeah, Rillie. Really. Look at that corkscrew. Oh, oh, Steve Jackson, why did you make me make that joke? Okay, good word. Yeah, I, I wanted to. Thank you, Jesus! <laughs> Please, someone take this from me. Is it my turn now? It's your turn Unless now. Unless there's a boss, I guess it is. Oh god. VR is that's gotta be a D. See? That wasn't so hard. <laughs> I don't know, I disagree. That one part where I tried to go up the rail with the camera fighting me all the way <laughs> reminded me of like Super Mario 64. Watch me get it. I'm gonna get another fucking rouge level. Yes, you are. 